Good morning, everybody. Yes, hello. Um, now, today, just uh, to keep the peace and the balance in a jag household, I've decided today that uh, we're going to go out to the... Well, I haven't decided. Rosie has decided that we're going out to the uh, Christmas market in Dundee. So I thought, yep, let's just do this, man. Just go with the flow. Because uh, I haven't been out with Rosie for ages, man. Because I've been going to the studio late night and all this kind of creeping in late at night, you know, um, sort of thing. So, yeah, just got to... Yeah, just got to do it, man. So I'm going to go to the Christmas market in Dundee today and just hang out and chill out for a little bit. Well, folks, this was uh, caused by the storm last week. Out there with the Holiday Express. Come off, house came off. Yes, that was the Holiday Express there, folks. Um, with the winds last week, during the week there, uh, tiles blew off. I think it blew onto the, the Tay Road Bridge over there. And uh, the bridge was closed for a little bit. So that's some high wind storm damage. Instead of system scanning it, we've got system corrupt. There he is. System is corrupt. Oh, Right, folks, I've got my chef's hat on for tonight's tea. I am cooking, which I haven't made something like this in a while, spaghetti bolognese. Now, all you need for this is some mushrooms, onions, and a jar of bolognese sauce, um, which we're going to just throw into the pan here. I've got the, uh, the mushrooms and the onions and the garlic cooking in olive oil, throwing in the mince, give it a good mush about, wait for the mince to brown, and then you throw in the dolmio sauce, cook that for 20 odd minutes, uh, and then do your spaghetti, and boom, sorted. Right, there we are, folks. Look at that. Browning away. And there's my pan boiling. There's the spag box ready. There's my beer. Yes. Oh, there it is, folks. Tea is finally served. There we go. Yeah. Good morning, folks. Yeah, it's very, very early in the morning. It's 10 to 9, and I'm going off to the mental dental. Yeah. Here's my man, Ken Roy. How are you doing, How sir? You, doing, you want to be in the video, Ken Roy? He's on the video. That's Ken Roy. He's my man. Yeah. I'm, I'm off to the mental dental, man, for okay, better. Thank better. You, yeah. Sir. Look after yourself, yeah. man. See you later. Right, there we go, that's Kenroy. Oh, the neighbour, sorry mate, it's about to run over there, that's terrible. Right, yes, so, here we go again, it's Monday, half past nine appointment. Here we go. I've only got one glove, I can't find my other glove. Alright folks, I've just arrived at the uh, car park, Tesco car park, you get three hours free, yes, so that's why I park here. Um, bit of a disaster though, I've come out without my wallet this morning folks, so... I want to go out and do something, something else, get some food and stuff afterwards. So I'll need to go home first thing, pick up my wallet, which is a right pain in the, in the neck. I've, oh, mind you, I've got one, two, three. Oh, I've got six pound coins. So I might do. Um, I've got this little thing. This this little. I've got this little thing. <laughs> what a shame. Um, yeah, I've got this um, from Bro from my birthday. Man, I haven't used it yet. It's this thing. It's called a cap clip or something. What's it called? Yeah, and it holds your phone. Now, the only thing about it, folks, is when you put it on, and um, because my phone's got a case on it, it kind of it doesn't quite hold it properly. You know what I mean? It's like it's designed just for the iPhone to be put in without a case on it, which is a bit of a nuisance, man, really, because um, it's a great thing. It's just a nice little 
handheld clip and it's got this um, Bluetooth thing, this button. So when you press it, that sort of turns your phone on and you can take photographs with it. It was G that had them uh, to start with. He, he got them, so Bro got us a couple um, for my birthday. And I haven't used it yet, folks, so we're going to use it today. So let's get this clipped on and I better get a move on, actually. It's time for my uh, my appointment. Now, folks, I must admit, to me a bit, uh, I've been a bit lapsed with wearing a mask uh, when I'm out and about. But with this uh, new variant, Omnicron, it's meant to be pretty bad, this one. So uh, I'm going to start wearing my mask when I'm out, folks, I think. There's that, uh, what do they call that one? It's, uh, it's like a bullet train. The bullet train of Scotland, it goes 100 miles an hour, yes. Anyway, yes, yeah, so I'm going to start wearing my mask a bit more when I'm out and about, folks, just to try and prevent the, the Omnicron spread. I'm going to wear my mask at work as well. But you can't really see, you can't, if I wear my mask, you can't see my mouth moving, can you? It's weird. So, no, I am, I am going to really start uh, wearing it when I'm out and about. It's actually quite warm and cosy. It's actually cold today, man. So, I put my, my warm hat on. Like, and I've only got one glove, man. I don't know what I did with my other glove. Um, so I'm a bit at a loose end today. I've got one glove and uh, no money. No what? <laughs> right, anyway. So, yeah, I'll go home. And then uh, my weekly report is available. Your screen time was up 12%. 12% on last week. Goodness me. Right. Um, yeah, anyway, so... Gonna go home, get my wallet, and then we'll go out and we'll do an adventure together, folks. Yeah. Right. Right, folks. So I'm in the smallest lift in Dundee, in Scotland, maybe even in the world. I don't know. As I said before, it's really, really small. I can't even stretch it. I must be about. A yard by a yard square man that's it look that is it it's even got a camber but yeah that's it there's just no space in this place look there ain't no space in the place so there it is there we go right here right here folks right, folks that's me out the dentist fantastic Aisha who does my teeth man she is awesome she's a civilian girl and she's uh oh it's great just talking to her um, about things, man, you know. Anyway, look, I love this building behind me here, this one here. It's absolutely great. The, the, the scrimmager. Scrimmager building, that one. It's just such a nice building. I like the colour of it and the, the angular joints of it, the angular bits of it. It's just such a nice building, that one there, the scrimmager building. Anyway, right. Yeah, teeth done. Well, I'm a bit numb. I mean, I'm actually in the need of a coffee and uh, something else to eat like that. As I said, I've left my wallet uh, in the house, I think. Bloody lost my wallet again, man, honestly. Right. Let me go and find it. Now from the uh, the old scrimmager building that I really liked, uh, a nice new modern one that was uh, just put up here a few years ago. It's this one here, man. It's just made from um, like these, uh, you know, these transport crates, these big transport crates that go on, uh, go on ships, uh, containers. And this is them here. I call it a Tetris building because it's got these these dots that look like Tetris kind of pieces that fall down into place. Look, see. Got the Tetris bits on it. There you go. There we are. Tetris blocks falling into place. There we go. Wonderful. Some more over here. So I was actually in these uh, these buildings on the the doors open day in Dundee. So we've got to have a good look around them. So yeah, nice and spacious and very modern sort of feel to it. Great, great little. I'd love to have one of those as a 
as a, an HQ for prison there. But yeah, that's that's another one of my favourite buildings in Dundee. Wonderful. Here it is, folks. My favourite bridge in Dundee. Another nice modern piece of construction work. Look at that. It's actually a weird sort of setup. It's it's, con it's held by these this bit here. Can you see how it sort of works? Yeah. So here is then the uh, the Sea Braze Bridge. Um, it's a weird one, as I said. That it's, it's controlled. It's only got one end that is uh, that's holding it all up. It's like all the the weight's taken on that end, and that's why it's, it moves about so much. So yeah, it's like it's, it's got the the uh, it takes all the all the strain at one side. Great building, I love it. Even though it does make me feel a bit queasy sometimes, but no. Well designed, well thought out bridges. Oh well, my god. Abba, Abba. Just had the worst Christmas song ever. Abba. Little Things is what it's called. What a oh man. Terrible. Right folks, here's another one of my favourite buildings, obviously, the uh, the Mecca Bingo here at uh, Douglas. It's uh it's like a it's got a pagoda. All makers have these sort of pagoda things on the top, these little turrets. But that's uh, that's been there since 1998. It used to be a mill. The whole of this area was mills. And when they knocked them down, loads of rats just scarpered everywhere. There's hundreds of rats just just hightailed it, and out they went, boom, all the way across into the into the uh, into Douglas Estate there, man. So goodness knows what's happened to them. But um, well, there's one left. There's one still at the back here uh, of my building. So there's another one of my my favourite buildings, folks. Oh, it looks like work there, obviously.